In today's video, we are going to talk about massage guns. Are they worth it? And volume. Should you do more reps or do more sets or do more weight? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Manoon, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. And we're live. What's going on, guys? Coach Malik here. In today's video, we are going to talk about massage guns. Are they worth it? And volume. Should you do more reps or do more sets or do more weight? That's what we're going to go over in today's video. And um, let's get into it. First question uh, is going to be answered. It's going to be talking about massage guns. So Ron asked this question. I'll do a uh, asking you guys for opinions about the massage gun. Do any of you have or use the massage guns post-workout or anytime? I've been thinking about getting one, but not sure which one is best or which is the best value. Looking for opinions on what you have. What do you like about it or dislikes? Um, Because there's so many out there available just looking for everybody's thoughts. So basically, um, there are a whole bunch out there. And what I, you know, there's a lot of fitness uh, equipment out there. You know, a lot of things you can buy. There's massagers everywhere. There's foam rollers everywhere. There's certain fitness stuff that I don't recommend. And there's certain fitness because I don't believe it really works that well. And there's certain fitness stuff that I recommend. Now the massage gun, the thing, basically if you don't know what a massage gun is, is it looks like a, a drill and it just, and it just powers into your muscles. It's a, a massage gun. People use it for their legs. People use it for their arms. I really like it, to be honest. I think it's very beneficial. I think it works, you know, especially if you're like doing chest, you want to warm up your arms. If you're doing legs, you want to warm up your legs, get the blood flowing in those areas. Um, it helps a lot with soreness, warming up the muscles. It relieves uh, some pain sometimes depending on your pain um so i believe in the benefits of a massage gun however they are pricey they get pricey uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to google look up some massage guns have it pulled up here the most famous one is hypervolt so hypervolt is probably the one that most of you have seen it's the one that you know uh has that long and you're just it looks like a gun it looks like a uh an uzi <laughs> You know, those things that Grand Theft Auto. It looks like an Uzi for 349 bucks. So that's how much it's selling for right now. 399 retail, 349 because of Christmas deals or whatnot. But it's the Hypervolt Plus with Bluetooth uh, made by Hyperice. So Hyperice is the, is the company. Now, I have used one from a company called DRVN. And I believe it's Driven. Um, and these are great as well. And I personally did not notice the difference between the hypervolt and this one uh by driven uh it's called the uh theragun maybe um what's this one called therapy massage gun yeah theragun oh it was 349 it dropped down to 149 because of a sale because on the last video that's the one i was um recommending because it was half the price it was half the price for the same thing 20 speed levels you reduce the pain one you know 149 instead of 349 it seemed like a no-brainer but it does actually sell for 349 when it's not on sale but um driven drvn is the company i don't get a penny for it but that's the one if you're trying to save a buck and then again ron there's other machine like you said there's so many options out there for 56 bucks you know this one doesn't look very durable to me so i'm gonna look at it it's on amazon 56 bucks um let's look at the reviews and the reviews say yeah it doesn't have as long as a runtime six levels of speed instead of 20. so it's just things like that so if you're you know if you're just using it for a certain um you know a certain specific use maybe get a cheaper one but if you're using it because you want the full experience you want the 20 levels instead of six you know you want the different uh massage heads because they come with different heads one's a ball one looks like a fork it's just you know forking you you know there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with the one for obviously 149 versus the 56 dollar one but depending on what you want i think that the uh the the driven one and the hypervolt will probably be also more durable noticing that we are going to be traveling them in, in gym bags and probably throwing them around here and there you know you want to keep that in mind as well the hypervolt um is probably you know has all already that in mind so they might have better quality equipment so massage guns worth it yes um do you need it no uh but will it work if you get one yes so just figure out what your budget is if you want to get the hypervolt for 349 grab it if you want to grab the, the driven one for 149 those two are my recommendations 
recommendations. Um, all the other ones might be a little bit not as durable for you um, or work as well. So that's my opinion on massage guns. Second question is from Laura. Now this is a big question because it's, it's not a big question, but it's a complex question. Um, so the app she's using is basically she's putting in the details of her workout and then it's giving her, based off an algorithm, it's giving her sets or reps or weight to do. So she goes, the app is finally suggesting a more reasonable weight for bench press, but suggested sets of three. I easily repped out five the first set. So I continue to change the rep scheme to match my ability because um, she had the, the app said you should do a set of three and she did five easy. So I continue with my ability. I can't figure out how these algorithms work. It seemed when I changed the weight um, on the max effort days, it wasn't capturing the weight change. So she's basically saying like, the app is giving me this, but I can do this. So Laura, my answer to you is what's your goal, right? That's what it always comes down to is what's the goal. So if your goal, if you put on the, the app saying that your goal was to gain strength, well, that's why it's giving you sets because it wants you to go up and weight, not reps, right? So if you're going, if you're hitting the bench press at 90 pounds, 80 pounds, and you get, it says sets of three and you're like, but the 80 was easy for five. Well, then you need to maybe put 90 or hundred on. You might need to just go up and wait, but still do the set of three right? Three reps. So if your goal is strength, then do more weight. Keep the reps because that's what it's, that's the goal and just do more weight. Now, if your goal is to like hypertrophy, you know, these are, I have a lot of friends, uh, a lot of guys who are in high school who are always trying to get bigger arms or bigger chest, bigger shoulders. If your goal is hypertrophy, not necessarily strength or power, then you're going to want to do more reps. Less weight, more reps, eight to 12, maybe 15, but you want to have enough weight to where you're ripping the muscle tissue. Now, if you don't care about strength and you don't care about getting, you know, muscle, you're just focusing on exercising to feel good, you're just focusing on exercise to maybe gain a little bit more cardio, then you're going to want to focus on less weight, more reps, and maybe less sets, right? So maybe two, three sets, but you're doing 15, 20, 30 reps, right? So Laura, it all depends on the goal. It shows right here that, it look, I mean, you look pretty strong in the video. Um, and you're moving this weight pretty easy. So if your goal is strength, I would just recommend doing more weight. I would just add a little bit more to that bar and try to get the three with maybe more weight or the five with more weight. Um, if your goal is strength and if your goal is hypertrophy, yeah, maybe go up a little bit more reps, right? Maybe uh, don't follow exactly what the app tells you, but feel your body out. You know, a lot of the times we get programs or we get, uh, we see something online and we try to mimic it exactly how it says, but we gotta listen to our body too. You know, if you're doing a workout and your body says to do this and you're really feeling that thing, then do that. Uh, you don't always have to go rep by rep, exercise by exercise, you know, ting by ting for your workout programs. So keep that in mind, Laura. Hopefully that helped and answered your question. Ron, hopefully we answered your question. But guys, that was today's video. Is a massage gun really worth it? And how much volume should you do? Should you do more rep reps or should you do more weight? Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And remember, be certain in yourself, be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next video, guys. <laughs>